American Red Cross helps people affected by disasters big and small, and March is Red Cross Month. The organization uses this month to honor and celebrate the everyday heroes who help it fulfill its mission. k Wesley Ogle is live in North Portland. Wesley, we're getting to meet some heroes this morning. Yeah, we are. So uh, the reason why we're doing this is because there's a Heroes Breakfast on March 24th that the public can go to, and it's just a bunch of local heroes have done incredible things and saved lives. So we've got Brandon Miller here and Jerry, and Brandon actually saved his grandfather's life. So we're going to try to tell this story pretty quickly, but uh, Brandon, you just decided to ride in the car with your grandfather one day, and what happened? Um, so we started veering over to the side of the road, and we were about to hit a car, and then I looked over at my grandfather, he was unconscious, um, so I realized something must be wrong. Uh, I was thinking something was probably wrong with his heart since he's old. <laughs> um, so after that, um, I grabbed the steering wheel and I swerved into the other lane so that way we wouldn't hit the first car. Then there was another car in the other lane, so I just swerved back into our lane. And then I remember reading this same situation in a magazine that I get for Boy Scouts. Um, so one of the things was their unconscious, their foot will be on the gas. So I looked over, his foot was on the gas, we, he was flooring it. We were going really fast. Um, so I took his foot off the gas and I had to reach over with my leg to push on the brakes since the e-brake was by his other foot and not in the middle. Then after that I drove it up onto the sidewalk and put it into park to stop the car. It still took a while and it was kind of weird because we had a bunch of cement in the back. And then after that I got out of the I ran over to the nearest house since my phone was with my dad, and then I asked the lady there if I could borrow her phone. I called 911. I had her give them the address and tell her <clears throat> what was tell them what was going on. And then you gave them CPR. Yeah, and I yeah. pulled him out of the car, laid him down on the ground, and started doing CPR until a police officer mm -hmm. showed up. Okay, so this happened October 2015. Uh, Brandon is almost 19 now. You were 16 at the time. Uh, Jerry, what did that feel like hearing that your grandson had saved it's, your life? It's, it's awesome. It's amazing to to know that he could. Do, he, he did it and, and did, did what was necessary. And uh, it just, I'm, I'm indebted, indebted. He's, 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 he's my hero. He is, a, he is a hero. He is a hero. How does pretty that feel, so. having your grandfather say that about you? It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much. Brandon, you're incredible. We're so glad that you're here with us, Jerry, yeah. so much. Uh, and, and Brandon will be honored at that Heroes Breakfast on March 24th. And remember, it is uh, American Red Cross Month, so they're asking you to volunteer however you can. Live here in North Portland, Wesley Ogle, K2 News. Great inspiration.